Sometimes you want to use a sky texture in Blender to control your lighting, but you also want to use an HDRI to control reflections or to create realistic reflections in your scene. Let me show you how you can do that. So first of all, let's delete everything in the scene and let's create a plane and scale that up. Next, let's create a Suzanne or a monkey, scale that up and I'm just going to rotate it on the X and just move it up so it's kind of sitting on top of this plane. So with the monkey selected, let's add a subdivision surface modifier just to give it a little bit more of a smoother look. And then I'm also going to right click on it and click on shade auto smooth. Let's go to our render settings and change our render engine to cycles and I'm going to use GPU. And now if we change over to the render view, you can see this is what we currently have. Now let's jump into the shading workspace and let's change this from object to world and let's change this to our render preview. So let's add our sky texture and let's connect that to our background. Now the sky texture is really great to control the lighting in your scene so I can bring down the strength to 0.1 and yeah you can change the sun rotation and you can also change the elevation to make the shadows longer and shorter and then you can also change the sun size to make the shadow nice and soft or you can make it sharp if you set that to zero. So this gives you full control over your lighting and shadows. But let's say we want to have a realistic reflection on our monkey using an HDRI. So really simple to do that. So let's jump back into the layout screen and uh, let's create a UV sphere. With the UV sphere selected, press S and scale it up. So it's basically surrounding your scene completely, something like that. We also need to flip the normals. So if you look at your face orientation, you will see that the inside of our sphere is red and the outside is blue. So we want to flip that around. So with the sphere selected, press tab to go into edit mode, select everything by pressing A and then click the mesh menu, go to normals and flip. Now you'll see that everything is blue and we can press tab to go back to object mode. We can also hide the face orientation. So let's jump back into the shading tab and now with our sphere selected, let's go back to the object section here and let's create a new material and with the principled BSDF shader selected, press control T to just add these nodes. Um, just note that you need to have the node wrangler add-on installed. And now on the image texture node, you can click open, browse to your HDRI folder and let's choose an HDRI here. So I'm going to choose one with some nice clouds and let's open that. Now what you want to do here, you also want to connect the color output into the emission color and you want to set the emission strength to one. So now you can see that our HDRI is being projected onto this sphere that's surrounding our scene. Next, let's give our Suzanne a material. So I'm going to select the Suzanne, click on new. And for this, I'm just going to create a metallic material, maybe bring the roughness down so it's nice and shiny. And the next step is to basically select this sphere that's surrounding our scene and then go to the object data properties here on the side, then go down to visibility. And here you need to uncheck everything except glossy. So we only want to use it for reflections and that's why we keep only the glossy tick right here. So now you can see we get those nice reflections from the HDRI, but we still have full control over our lighting using the sky texture node. So I can increase the sun intensity right here. I can change the, the rotation of that shadow or the lighting right here. And if you want to change the reflection or if you want to rotate the reflection, you're simply going to select your sphere, which is the massive sphere surrounding the scene. Go to the object data properties and simply rotate around the Z. So you can see there as I rotate it, my reflection will also be rotated. And yeah, that's basically how easy it is to use a sky texture for your lighting and using an HDRI for your reflections. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, goodbye.